So given your uh, presentation today, we heard a lot about your transition between the public and the private sector, and we were wondering a little bit about some of the skills that from government that helped you in business and uh, vice versa. I think the skills that I learned in government that help in business is just understanding the, the policy development process. Uh, what are the drivers? What, what are the, uh, the officials and the politicians? What are they going to be responding to? And how can you anticipate that something that is becoming a bit of an issue today, how it might become part of a government policy to address it? And how can I, in, a, in the private sector, position myself to do that? As a young business person or someone entering the business field, I'm wondering what uh, can uh, businesses do to actually encourage young, younger people to transition over to or work in um, public policy? I think the best way that businesses can help younger people as they move through the business uh, in developing their skills in that business is to ensure that the exposure to public policy issues is not just a, uh, the responsibility of the Government Affairs Department. The Government Affairs Department should be an interlocutor, uh, should be a source of information, but the, the policy that a company has should be much broader in its development, and I, I think that's the case with uh, most successful companies, uh, so that they involve the business people in the development of the responses to uh, a proposed government policy or to uh, a recommendation to government to change a policy. So it's broadening that uh, policy development process within the organization will get more people, including uh, younger people, involved. Most leaders often have a moment of epiphany or two during their career, and we're wondering if you would be able to share uh, one or two of those with us. An epiphany in my career. Um, I guess one of them, and this may be a little longer answer than you want, but um, my job uh, in the 70s was to sell Canada, to try to encourage people by explaining to, to them what was going on in the Canadian economy, the Canadian political scene, Canadian business community, and so on. And I was going through my spiel with a fellow in a probably a 50-story high, high-rise building in Hong Kong. And this fellow said, stop right there, Mr. Wilson. He said, and he said look at this little country. We're 7 million people in Hong Kong. Uh, all of our water comes from the folks up there. And he pointed up to mainland China. All of our food comes from there. Uh, we haven't much of a political system here. We have a very bad education system here. But we're doing okay. We're scratch. We're scrambling, but we're we're we're, uh, we're doing okay in the world, selling our products. Then we look at Canada. You've got uh, all the resources in the world. Your exporters. You've got a tremendous amount of food. Uh, your exporters of food. You have more uh, fresh water than any other country in the world. You have a great political system. You have a very good education system, and you have the United States as your neighbor, a friend, an ally someone who is a major trading partner of yours. Why are you messing it up so badly? And I sat back and I had a hard time answering that question because at the same time I was going through the same sort of thing in my mind. Why are we not doing better? And the light went on right then. That was uh, in October 1977. And I said, I said to myself, I think I got to get back there and put my hat in the ring. So that was one. I guess the other was uh, when um, I was asked to be the ambassador. I was going in one direction, basically heading towards retirement. And then suddenly the, uh, the uh, call came, uh, are you interested in uh, being our ambassador to the United States? Well, it took me about a nanosecond to make up my mind on that because I, I knew a lot about the job, uh, having been in and around it uh, when I was in government. And I said, if I can get this job, this is terrific. So bang, that was, uh, I guess, the other ah, uh, aha moment. <laughs>